I'm sure you'll make short work of those ruffians. Check in with me after the mission. Unless you're dead. <laughs> Go get him, tiger. Am I gonna get into real combat right now? Stop pushing me. What the fuck is this? I'm coming in. Uh, but sneakily. I don't want to get overexcited, but I feel like I'm fucking killing it right now. Don't see me. Do not perceive me. I do not wish to be perceived. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. What the fuck is that? Look at that dragon thing. Jesus Christmas. It's mental out there. Great deeds are afoot. Deeds that will bring the apostatic union's tyranny to an end. And that will usher in a new age of heaven. Oh, but bye. All right. So she's legged it. What's that sound? Is that just the sound of the crystal? I think that's just the sound of the crystal. Right, so yes, she's legged it, which is unfortunate. So let's upgrade property. Is this mine now? Why are you just taking over this ship? Is this, do, I, do I live here? I mean, I guess she did just abandon it, right? Some nice bedroom. Safe. You know? I mean, the environment isn't great, but... Oh, hey, guys. Oh, it's you. The High Confessor wants to speak with you up on the platform. Oh. He mutters under his breath. Though what she sees in a wretched prisoner is beyond me. Matter a bit quieter, why don't you? Prick. <laughs> oh, hey, man. I did. Well, I didn't do it. She got away, but I tried. Ah, uh, prisoner Zul. I believe you're wanted by the High Inquisitor. Best not to keep her waiting, yes? By all means, come back and speak to me afterwards. We've much to discuss. Yeah, yeah. Um, where is the High Inquisitor? Up on the platform, somebody said? You catch a beaming smile behind the agent's visor. Why can't I speak today? Ah, so you're the one who squared up to Vila. And to think, we had you locked in a cell. The agent chuckles. <laughs> well, you really showed us how it's done. Anyway, I think the High Confessor wants to see you. I wouldn't keep her waiting. Yes, the important thing to note is that when I asked Vila if I could join her, that was a play. That was a, um, that was a play, that was a move to try and trick her into lowering her defences. Oh, there you are! I saw her face for a second. The High Confessor is giving orders to the agents around her, pointing with her mechanical limbs and shouting between bouts of coughing. Eventually, she notices you. Ah, Prisoner Zul, wasn't it? I mean, that's not my name, but I guess it is now. Our drones have been tracking you. It seems that Vila has escaped. Uh, I could- I failed you, I'm sorry. A high-pitched laugh reverberates through her coffin. <laughs> Nonsense, I was certain you would be cut into tiny pieces. Hello, it's me. Hi. It's astounding you made it this far. Yeah, people keep predicting that I'm gonna die. It's pretty rude. But your sentence still stands. You may yet prove your usefulness. We must ascertain where Vila has fled to. Luckily for us, I know just who we can ask. She laughs to herself, but this turns into a si pained series of wretches. After a moment, you think she may have vomited. Excuse me. The Oneric Isles are home to a number of former Dark Star mercenaries. My superiors would rather I executed them, but... She is silent a moment. They are of more use to us alive. If anyone knows where Vila went, they will. I would start with Jack Basalt, a former navy captain turned sellsword. We have already contacted him and arranged a meeting. You can find him at the Wobbly Noggin Pub in Hallowtown. What a great fucking name. In the center of the Oneric Isles. Basalt has promised to direct us toward his comrades in exchange for the polymath's pardon. He can help you find the others. Uh, which way to Hallowtown? Follow the road south through the village of Pwill and cross the gate bridge. This should get you to Hallowshire. You will need to acquire an apostatic union passport to cross the bridge. I wish I could grant you one myself, but 
We are undersupplied. Perhaps the locals in the village of Pwill could help you. Uh, why me, by the way? The Dark Stars are deeply mistrustful of the Inquisition. You could say we've had a few run-ins in the past. As one of our newest and most amenable operatives, you may have better luck than another of my agents. Hello, it's me again. <laughs> Just getting a good look at you. Got it. Good. And be careful. These islands are on the very fringe of apostatic Union territory. There may be worshippers, or even minor gods, who have fled the Union's purges tucked away here. The only assuredly faithless place is Hallowtown. And beyond Hallowshire's borders there is ground even Union boots won't tread upon. To the east, the Clockwork Kingdom is in full-blown crisis while the people of the Endless Realm to the West are cursed to never die. My tribunal will establish a command post in the fortress, the Blinding Light. Return here to recuperate, if you wish. Oh, and one more thing. From now on, you'll be known as Confessor Zul. This doesn't change your crimes or your sentence, but it sounds a little better than prisoner, hey? Um... I have some questions. Very well, but... With a shudder, the machine squats slightly. You'll have to speak up. It is most... echoey in here. Um, what's with the fortress? Its name is the Blinding Light. It was a God War fortress some 40 years ago. A marvel of Cardovan engineering. That giant cannon blasted void steel spears through the heart of many a god. Cool. At the height of the Dark Star's infamy, Vela Kalos procured this fortress, restored it from a heap of scrap. For the past few years, since the Dark Stars mutinied against one another, Vela has been hiding here. Believe it or not, I have been here before, long ago. It is strange to be back. How come you're in that metal coffin? You are not the only member of this tribunal to have betrayed the Apostatic Union. In my former life, I committed heinous crimes. She lets out a metallic sigh. Unlicensed spell-weaving, conversing with gods, abetting armed conflict, I could go on. This iron coffin is an honor, a privilege. The pain it delivers, the exquisite torment, sharpens my reason. And it was specially designed to insulate my mind, lest I hear the god's cruel whispers and forget my penance. Well, good talk. Very well, Confessor. Bye. Farewell. <laughs> See, I'm glad you're feeling good. Glad us all. Glad you're... everything's copacetic. Hey, man. Ah, Confessor Zul, I just knew you'd survive the assault. The drones were all but certain you'd made a gruesome end, but you sure showed them, eh? About that tea you wanted. What was that tea about again? Sai shroom tea for my wife. They make it in Puil Village, just south down the road. Okay. Thanks. Um... About the mission. Uh, okay, no, that's good. I had questions about the Sky Realms. By all means, ask away. Tell me about the Apostatic Union. He glanced you up and down. Well, surely you've been there. Union Heartland, I mean. Well, the Union is the most civilized place in the Sky Realm since the world rent. You may not agree, but to my mind, it's the truth. What's its history? For the past 400 years, the Sky Realms have been under the control of the Wiccan Covens and their gods. It may be true that some preached tolerance, but others were tyrants who twisted their poor followers into cruelty and ignorance. This you cannot dispute. You see, the Wiccans acted no different from the worst Slevian cartels. They forbade the weaving of cipher magic and the advancement of reasoned debate. They locked us in blood contracts with gods who stunted our advancement. But 40 years ago in the God War, the ap apostatics cast off our shackles. He sighs. It's true that a lot of blood was spilled, both mortal and divine. But now, in Union territory, reason and discourse have replaced ignorance and fear. If you say so. What's Union Heartland like? He sniffs. 
Well, depends where you go. I'm from Lundell, a place full of windswept hills, soggy marshes, and crumbling castles, circled by a blue neuron star. We also have a weakness for ale. There's also Bayon, known for its universities and fine wine, and Slev, a rugged wetland where criminal, criminal elements are rife. But many worlds consider the most... But many would consider the most important Union realm to be Vena. It's a warm, beautiful archipelago full of orchards and bathed in yellow starlight, and home to the Union's most important city, Riova. Riova is where the Union Council of Polymaths meet. It's a city full of floating houses, all strung together with bridges and ropes, with gondolas drifting between them. Ah, the Venice of the Sky Realms. When you're in the middle, it's said you can't see a hint of sky. There's buildings in every direction. But wherever you go in the Union Heartlands, there's nowhere as rugged and wild as this. He takes a lungful of air. Ah, nary a sewer for miles. That's thank you. Anything else? Tell me about the Aneric Isles. Well, the Aneric Isles of the Archipelago we're on now. It's always been at the fringe of Union territory, and has only recently had a regional council installed in Hallowshire. But there are also islands outside of Union control. To the east lies the Clockwork Kingdom, ruled by a machine monarch, while to the west lies a rather frightful place of undying souls known as the Endless Realm. Yeesh. Tell me about Hallowshire. Though Hallowshire has technically been under Union control since the God War, it's been somewhat neglected until recently. That means there's still cultists lurking among the hills, not yet flushed out. There are even whispers of gods lurking in nasty nooks and crannies. But no need to worry. A Union Council chamber has just been built in Hallowtown, and this place now has its very own polymath. With such an esteemed education, she'll have this place sorted out in no time. Tell me about the Endless Realm, it sounds terrible. Did you ever hear the stories of the Cadaver Crusades? Led by, the, by those nasty ghouls that plundered the living to eat their flesh? He visibly shivers. Well, turns out those weren't just stories. Those monsters actually exist and have a little kingdom right over yonder, ruled by their so-called Queen of Silver. There's a lot of women in charge in this world, I've noticed. That's nice. I tell you, you couldn't make it up. Last I heard, they packed in that flesh-eating business and started farming some sort of mindless meat. Fancy that. Ghouls with a conscience. Okay, sounds like they're going in the right direction. Tell me about the Clockwork Kingdom. That sounds neat. Mm, well, the less said about that place, the better. They used to be known as Cardova. During the God War, they aided the apostatics in overthrowing the Wiccans and their gods. They even made the Blinding Light Fortress, as well as many other war machines. That explains all the machines in this ship. But they were always a little big for their boots. Despite having the best alchemists and etherists in the Sky Realms, they got the mad notion of making some sort of magical utopia where every foolish peasant could cast a spell. Utter nonsense, I say. Only, for a while, it seemed like the bug has actually got it to work. The stuff that was coming out of the newly formed Clockwork Kingdom was making even the erudite Academy Scholars blush with envy. At least, until their mechanical king went mad and threw the whole place into chaos. Now it's a frozen wasteland full of malfunctioning robots and rotting crops. Which is a damn shame, because there was a lovely little tea house in Feropolis that my wife adored. Oh well. Aw, oh, bro. What island are we on now? Oh, this little isle is known as Pwill. Just a handful of mushroom farmers here, really, but its remote location has always made it a haven for smugglers and pirates. Perhaps that might th I think my voice has changed significantly over the course of this long conversation. <laughs> Perhaps that's why Vila came here to lick her wounds after the Dark Star mutiny. Alright, thank you for that information, my dude. Anything else? No, that's that was awesome. You're super helpful. Oh, actually, quickly, tell me about yourself. Me? Oh, there's not much to tell. I'm just a humble servant of the Apostatic Union. Time ago, I was a counselor, would you believe? Only... A rather embarrassing incident involving a lost shipment of hallucinogenic psy shrooms saw me... <clears throat> demoted to a less public-facing role. So here I am, working for the esteemed Inquisition. Only, one can't help if their thoughts often drift to home comforts, eh? I have a lovely little cottage back in London with my wife. One day I'll pack all this in and get back to growing button caps in my garden. I hope you do, man. I really hope you do. Best of luck out there. See you later, man. Aw, oh, bro. 
I hope he doesn't die a horrible death. I hope he can... I hope he can really do the thing, you know? I hope he can do the thing. Down we go! So, south towards the village of Quill. I want to find a mushroom tea for my bro. Um... Of my bro's wife. But I also want... Uh, to get myself a passport. Cracking. Lovely. You have unspent delusions. Hold on, what was that? How do I delusions? Oh, I do have an unspent delusion. Ooh. Um. It's from health. I mean, I'm doing okay fighting-wise so far. I've got shit loads of guile. I've got guile for days. Uh, maximum mana. Increases your regen rate. Okay. Let's get another persona. Should I grab another eye from this eye plant? Oh, hello! A person! A real looking, normal looking person! Hi! Oh my! What's all that commotion over yonder? I appear to be quite lost. I bought a map of these Oneric Isles back in Riova, but it seems to be decades out of date. He grumbles. What's the trouble with these fringe islands? Every few decades they've floated into different positions. Oh, that is annoying. Take my advice, traveller. If you're looking to explore, make sure you find an accurate map. Do you know where I can find a map? I noticed that the Erudite Academy is flying over Hallowshire to the south of here. Can you see it up there in the sky? It travels all over the Apostatic Union, so I've heard. I met one of their scholars in a red tent in the forest underneath Puil Village. I've seen them in other places too. Believe it or not, they're working on a map of the region right now, only it's not quite ready. I'm starting to sound like that other guy that you were just talking to, because you spoke to him for so fucking long. Try asking them, worth a shot, eh? Uh, where are you trying to get to, my friend? I'm trying to get to the Endless Realm. It's said to be a place where people never die, even though the flesh peels from their bones. Why do you want to go there? As a boy, my mother would scare me with tales of the Cadaver Crusades, when the Endless would hunt the living and feast on their still warm bodies. It would scare me witless, but still, I always dreamed of going there someday. And I have it on good authority that they perform their ways. They only eat non-sentient meat and are on good terms with the Apostatic Union. So I said to myself, what do I have to lose? Actually, to be fair, that's the sort of place I'd probably want to go and check out. He gulps. Well, I suppose they could still eat me. I, I guess they could, yeah. Um, good luck to you, man. Good fucking luck. I'm just gonna harvest this eye plant. Eye of Pegus. This way to Pool Village. Purveyors of the prophetic sky shrooms. Scry shroom tree. This way to the sacred shroom. Okay, well we better start off going to the village. Let's not get carried away hopping about here, there, and everywhere. Follow the road, I assume. What a neat lamp. Look at that. Uh, what is that thing? I'm desperate to know what that thing is. Oh, he said to look up and... Oh, maybe that's what he was talking about? The, um, the university people? That are working on the map? Hello! Nice hat! The youth looks at you with caution, wide eyes lodged in a gaunt face. Oh, a newcomer! Uh, welcome to Pearl Village! My name's Lud. Were you, um, involved in all that commotion over the old fort? I'm just passing through. I won't cause you any trouble. The boy's shoulders slacken and he looks genuinely relieved. Oh, okay. I can tell you a little about our town if you like. We're just a humble village. He swallows. Have you heard of the Scry Shroom? It's a mushroom that shows you the future. We grow it and sell it. Only, um, things aren't going so well lately. People are worried. What's up? What's going wrong? Well, the crop yield is bad. Each year we've been growing less Scry Shroom. He scratches his head. Some people are getting worried. It's a mushroom hat! That's fucking awesome! He's wearing a mushroom as a hat, I've just realised. He looks around, then leans in closer. I've heard some people are considering the old ways. His eyes are practically bulging. You know, consorting with Wiccans and gods? Um... Ah. Uh... So what? Uh, I don't. I don't know if I want to reveal myself as a um, an agent of the Inquisition. You know. Well, we're part of the Apostatic Union, see. So God worship is very illegal. He gulps. 
Anyway, the local weightmaster Culwich has gotten pretty spooked by it all. He's weighing everyone who comes by just to make sure they're not a Wiccan. <laughs> He's weighing them. But my mother, Alwyn. Oh, um, she's the mayor, by the way. Doesn't seem too bothered by it all. She's much too worried about something else. I heard her mumbling about some sort of monster lately. He blinks. Oh, I'm sorry. I tend to waffle, don't I? Is there anything you'd like to know? Can you point me around town? Oh, um, I suppose so. He gestures behind him. Just in town, you'll find the Wayhouse. The Waitmaster, Culwich, he's pretty respected around here. Nearby is the Scry Shroom Company, which sells Scry Shrooms, of course, and uh, other things. Further up the hill is the Mayor's House. That's where my mother, uh, I mean the Mayor, lives. She sometimes has work going. And further up is the old Sacred Shroom. Only, uh, it's dead. That sounds bad. That could be why you're having problems, right? If the Sacred Shroom is dead? What does the Waymaster do, other than weigh people? Oh, Colwich. He's pretty important. He went to Riova, the capital city of the Apostatic Union. That's really far away. To get certified as a Waymaster. He weighs things for merchants and buyers to make sure the price is fair. Might not seem like much, but for a small town like us, it means we can trade with realms like Fina, Bayon and Lundell. He leans closer, eyes wide. But he also weighs people. Lately, he's been real worried about Wiccan sympathizers, and his, he has magic cipher scales that can tell if you're evil. He looks sheepish. He's not weighed me, though. I guess he doesn't think I'm tough enough to be a criminal. You should use that to your advantage, my young friend, lad. Tell me about the Squashroom Company. Well, it's run by Dwin, whose family's been growing Squashroom for generations. Without his company, the town wouldn't really exist. Mushrooms are kind of all there is around here. Mother won't let me drink the squash room tea, even though she does it all the time. She says it's too intense, that you have to be a responsible adult to see the future. I don't see the big deal though. So this is a uh, squash room is like this world's melange, right? She mostly just hallucinates about having a bigger garden. <laughs> uh, so your mother's the mayor? He nods. Not everyone likes her because she comes from all the way over in London. That's a far away place with castles and windswept moors and Union Heartland. I was born there, so I've never... I was born here, so I've never been. He sniffs. Why is the sacred shroom dead? Oh, well that's b because Culwich killed our god, of course. Ah. Okay, I'm starting to understand the, the Wiccan and the god sympathizers here. Of course. He nods. That's all I wanted to know. I hope I didn't waffle too much. Gotta get going, kid. Of course. Bye. Thank you. You were so helpful, lud. What a helpful young man. It's a nice bridge here. This is lovely. Not a bad place to be raised. I mean, the sky is a little bit upsetting. Is that a neuron star? But this, I guess, if this is how the world always is, then you'd be sort of used to it, right? I've just got to, ch I've just got to check, just in case. You know, you never know when it, when there's a waterfall, you just never know. It would be irresponsible of me not to check. God, I probably should just go into town and not run off exploring. Who is that? This looks like an interesting landmark. Doors shut tight. Okay, good. Well, that's probably for the best. Oops. Okay, so sprinting just temporarily lowers my stamina. It doesn't seem to fully lower it. Good, good. This is really cool so far. I like this a lot. This is totally my thing. Is Pwill Village. Oh, that tower's got a huge mushroom growing out of it. That's freaking cool, dude. 